Hi, this is Rob Diori, Chief Technology Officer with Blue Thread Technologies. Uh, I'm going to run through a quick demo of Storage Point today. Uh, I'm going to install it, configure it, and start externalizing content from SharePoint. Uh, I'm going to run the installer here. Uh, it's going to do a quick system check, uh, accept the license agreement. Um, it's going to take this file now and install it on the server locally, um, and then it will push it out to um, you know other web front ends in your farm through the um, solution deployment deployment framework uh, within SharePoint. Should take a couple more seconds here to install it and then we can move on to configuring it. Now it's activating the farm features within the solution and we're done. Uh, so you can see it successfully deployed the solution to the server. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Um, this is all managed within central admin um, it's on the application management page. We add a, another section for storage point. First thing you need to do is activate the licenses. So I'm going to click activate. I'm going to select the automatic method. This is going to do the activation over the internet. Once it's done that, <clears throat> it goes to a license provisioning page where it's going to cycle through and, and make sure that the uh, license has been uh, successfully activated on all the servers in the farm. If you have multiple servers in your in your implementation, it'll list all those here on the uh, on this page. So it's in progress now of provisioning the license. And one more time through, it should be complete. Click Continue, OK. Uh, now we need to activate uh, the EBS provider so we can start externalizing content. So this is just flipping the state of, of the farm. Just giving you a message there about uh, resetting IIS. So now before I can actually externalize content, I need to create a storage profile. So you can do this by web app or, or by site collection. Uh, I'm going to do it by web app. I'm going to pick one of my portal web apps. I'm going to auto folder the content within SharePoint so as new content comes in it'll it'll put it in this uh, date time uh, folder scheme. I'm also going to externalize the content using our file system adapter. Uh, blob store. You can use a network share, domain share, SIP share with this. Um, it's all compatible. I'm also going to externalize the content on the blob store. I'm not going to uh, compress or encrypt it. I'm going to test the storage profile so it went through and made sure I had I provided a, um, a valid path and I have all the permissions to access that path. I'm going to go ahead and save that profile. It's going to go through um, and kind of enumerate all the different site collections in the web app that I picked and prepare them for externalizing the content. Give it a couple more seconds here and it should be done. So now we have a activated storage profile and we're ready to start externalizing content. So I'm going to flip over here to my portal site. I'm going to go to one of my webs, one of my libraries, and I'm going to upload a new document. That's going to take the document now, put it into SharePoint. You can see that it's created a folder structure for that new document. I'm going to go ahead and drill down into this. You can see we add a, uh, a, a item into the context menu and it pops up a details window where you can see uh, how the content's been externalized, where it's been externalized to. I can go ahead and open that. It works. Nothing changes here with the out-of-the-box experience. We're not doing any HTML placeholders. We're not doing any redirects. You can see the content type is maintained. I mean, as far as SharePoint knows, this content is sitting inside the content database. But in fact, if I go over to my external blob store here, there's the actual blob and it's stored as a GUID. So if I go in and change the extension on that, double click on it, you can see the actual uh, blob that's been externalized. So the only thing sitting in the content database is a small uh, placeholder that contains some information about, um, it basically has a reference to the externalized blob um, along with its, its location in the blob store. Um, that's it. Very simple demo. We'll be doing some more, uh, some more detailed demos uh, coming up uh, over the next few weeks, and, and post them on our site and our blogs. Uh, we'll get into some more advanced scenarios. But you know, just download the software, try it. 
Um, it works. It doesn't break SharePoint. You can crawl the content. You can access it from the UI. Um, it just works.